back at her. Now that stupid hose that was leaking runs from here all the way down there to that bracket and all the way around to the side of the engine down there. Not much room for anything. So basically when you got got to access everything from up here there's another bracket down there, it's no longer there. There's, uh, there's a bracket that sits right about here. I eliminate that because there's no room for it anyways and you couldn't get it back together even if you tried from up here without taking out the engine. And you got that which we're going to modify today. There's that big bracket, it hangs on the back of the engine, usually has about cushion clamps sitting here, like so. Absolute crap. You gotta take everything apart in order just to get that off. The other reason why we hate these things so much is right there. That there is a special end, and it's called a Komatsu end. And I mean, good luck getting one of those anywhere. But if you want the job done, this is how it's done. And there it is. Your Komatsu ends. This is the one off the engine, off the side of the engine. Real pain in the butt to get off. You gotta use all your, as many of tools as possible. There's one off the, that's the one off the uh, housing, and this, I, I don't even know where to find this stuff, really, honestly. At least that's a GIC. Hey, here, this is how we fix things. Brand new, boom, off the back of the engine, or the side of the engine, put that on there normal stuff and then boom commands winds are no longer this here is a dyna pack I did a, did a while back already you know, same thing same problems same Cummins engines but yeah I got lucky enough with this one we actually found the Komatsu end. You can't really see in the back there. But, you know, same thing, same issues. Oh yeah, way down there. 